Good morning. My name is Dean Jones. I'm here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm here to show you this really, really neat toy hauler. We just got it in on trade. Uh, the more I'm learning about these guys, the more impressed I am about this product. It's, it's an ATC aluminum toy hauler. It's a 2019 M8528. Uh, it's got so much going on. I'll just go ahead and just start right away. A uh, couple things to note. This is an all aluminum trailer. So, and it's not screwed together. It's all riveted together. So it's, it's riveted construction. Got these big welded box frames. All aluminum from front to back, inside and out. There's not any wood in this trailer. It's just, it's an amazing piece. So, um, as you can see, this is a big eight inch box. You can see the welds in here. I don't know if you can kind of, just the construction is enough to just wow, wow a guy. And I'm, I'm a big kind of towable guy here. So I've done a lot of towables, toy haulers in my time on these videos, nothing like this. So this is an eight inch box. It goes into a seven inch box frame all the way to the back. Um, super, super rigid, super light for what it is. Um, the weight on this guy, it's uh, 7,300 pounds dry. Um, it can hold 44 or 4,140 pounds of uh, payload, so it's got a GVWR of about 11,440. Uh, it's a 33-foot 33, 33 long trailer. It's got a height of 11 feet to the top. Uh, the inside height is 7,6, so the tall people can be in there. And it's got a width of 8 foot 6 inches. As you can see, there's a big, giant 25-foot awning out there. But here, we'll just start looking at some of the features. We'll talk a little bit more about the, the specs as we get around this thing. I'm just gonna start here. This is actually your fuel station. You'll see there's a 30, there's a little gas cap over there. You can put 36 gallons of fuel for your motorcycles, your razors, your Jeeps, whatever. Uh, this is your little gas pump that just pumps out and this is how you'd fill your stuff. You can see it in there. But as you notice, you'll see all the aluminum floors, aluminum panels, real nice doors, slam latches. Got these really nice uh, rock guard, diamond plate rock guard, all aluminum. The whole roof is one sheet of aluminum on this guy. And up there, I think there's about 500 watts of solar. It looks like two 200s and 100 up there. Two ACs, this thing's just loaded. Um, as you get a look in here, this will be, I don't know if you can see in here. The guy has an extra water, the guy that traded in had an extra water pump just to be prepared. But you got four AGM batteries back there. Then your solar controller up top. And everything you've done is just so well. Everything's welded. You got this big aluminum superstructure underneath this guy. Um, and this one's equipped. It powers off that 36 gallon tank. This is a 5,500 watt quiet gas diesel, or not diesel, but Odin generator. You've got 220 pound bottles of propane under here. We just replaced this and put a bigger, better jack on it. So it's got a brand new power jack. Helps, you know, with this big, nice plate here. It's gonna give you a lot of leveling features and just, you're not cranking it up and down. Uh, speaking of cranking it up and down, it does have manual level or stabilizers. That's about the only thing I can say this thing's lacking is a power stabilizer feature. But that's not too bad. You get a little cordless drill, you pop that out. You've also got a lower spigot to lower your, your water tank if you'd like. In here, you can see your water pump, some of your uh, gate valves. This has got a leveling hitch in it. So this has got a really nice leveling hitch. It's just gonna hook up to these saddles here and keep your, your trailer and your truck real stable and, and level and it won't be swaying too bad. So it's a nice little addition that he left with, with, uh, with the trailer. You do have a little solar, con you can kind of see your solar voltage right here. It's just a little window into what your solar is doing. It's got a good 14 volts on there. Real healthy system, real healthy battery system. You do have a shut off for the whole coach right there their whole trailer, I should say. And this has got a nice little diamond plate cover for the, for the generator. I just have it off to, to demonstrate it. But yeah, these just really nice shocked. Keep your doors open. Slam latch. Oh, I don't have this open, but you do have a utility shower out here. Um, I'm not, I think that's your cord storage there. I'm sorry, that's where your cord storage is. Um, you do have a six gallon water heater. Um, it is propane, so that's pretty typical of these trailers. Um, you do have an access to your uh, 
to your refrigerator, if you need to work on the back of the refrigerator or anything like that, um, it is a 50 amp service because you do have two AC, so it's got the big cord that comes with it. If you get a shot under here, this is what is gonna dump your tank right here. You've got a black, t black flush, so you put your hose on there and you hook a hose up to it, it'll wash out your black tank. Uh, here's your black tank gate valve and your gray tank gate valve, and you've got your furnace. Your furnace is a 25,000 BTU furnace in this guy. It's gonna warm the thing up, no problem. Uh, nice tinted safety tempered glass. And again, all aluminum body, as you can see through here. Another thing I like about this trailer is it's got the wide axles. So you can see this space right here. Um, the further you are apart here, the more stable it is. So they're not, this is a really nice tandem axle. Um, I think those are 5,200 pound axles each. Really nice setup there. You do have a leveling. Someone, he had, the old owner added this. So you can tell when you're, when you're level. We're a little off level right here, but we're fine. Uh, right here is where you store your, uh, your sewer hose. That's just a nice little place there. This is a vapor vent. You got one up front, one in the back. This one would be open this way. The other one would be open the other way. Kind of gets all the vapors out of there. What, what, one of the things I'm most impressed about this trailer, other than the fact that it's 100% aluminum, no wood, is you've got a 4,000 pound uh, door here. What that means is you can drive a two-door Jeep up this thing into your trailer. It's just, it's an amazing thing. It's also cabled so it can be used as a, a nice little party deck up here. And while I'm up here, you see you got these two big solar panels up there you can kind of see. Um, I think those are 200s if I had to guess. And then there's another 100 up in the front. So I think there's like probably four to 500 watts of solar up there. Um, you do have a zip cover. I have one side down and one side up. So you can kind of see how that works, but it all zips together. So you could just kind of leave the door open and just kind of get some nice light in the back of the tunnel or the back of your, your trailer here. But it also, it's real easy. It's, it's got this spring, so it's real easy to kind of put up. Uh, it's gonna be more of an adult kind of weight there. It's not, you know, a little guy's probably not gonna be able to get that up that easy. So it's not power assisted, but you got these really nice locks here. Just pop in. We'll leave that down for now though. Just a really nice, I mean, I, I, that's, the big, that's the biggest weight rating door I've ever seen, 4,000 pounds. So again, you've got this nice 25 foot awning. You got the nice LED strip in there. It's kind of a black and white in color. Just kind of a nice contrast there. Um, getting a shot, I'm gonna put you underneath it again because you do have a spare tire on this guy, which kind of hooked up to this guy. You pull a pin, the whole spare comes out. It's a really nice system. But if you get a shot under there, we talk about enclosed insulated underbellies. This is not an enclosed underbelly, but it's definitely insulated. You can see all that, that, that spray on insulation. And you can also see all those big structures right there and they're all welded and stuff. I mean, the thing is just a monster frame under here. Pretty simple as far as the outside. Here's where you put your 36 gallons of gas in. Um, you also have a place if you wanted to hang a TV, there's, this is a TV rack. You've got your uh, outdoor speakers. The thing will just, you know, be out here under the awning, you can listen to music or whatever. You also have a cable outlet if you want to hang a TV. And you've got power right here. And you've got a nice little solid step that just kind of folds up in there. You actually put some nice grip, grip on there. to show you this guy, real nice door, but it's also got a nice industrial catch. A lot of them are these little plastic ones that break. This is one of the nicer catches I've ever seen as well. So as you come in this guy, you're gonna see, we've got the AC in here, it's nice and cool. And I'll just start, this is the other vent here, so. These are called a vapor vent. So what happens to these guys, you just pop that open as you're traveling, the air comes in here 
and that one in the back corner that I showed you, it's open the other way and it just gets all the gas vapors from your motorized stuff out the back. But we're gonna start in the bathroom. It's kind of a tight spot here, but if you notice the floor is aluminum, um, the walls, it has a, a real nice like vinyl wrap on it. Um, they kind of designed these, if you ever like got them dirty and stuff, you can almost just power wash them out as long as you didn't get water on your electrical stuff. It's real nice. So this is the shower. I'm 6'1", plenty of room here. You got an articulating, this is really nice. You're gonna kind of put, put that out, a lot more room in there, get it out of the way. Um, nice stainless steel shower head. Nice, nice, just one piece fiberglass. It's just really not gonna fail on any level. Um, you look at some of these cabinets, Nice hardware, but again, aluminum construction all the way around. All that storage back there, I don't know if you can see that, but it goes all the way back. They just didn't waste anything over here. Uh, nice little mirror, sink, uh, solid surface countertops. And you've got all that, oh, all that storage right there. Nice big linen closet, but again, all aluminum. More there. And this guy, if you get a shot up here, you do have a fantastic fan with the remote, so you can get that moving. You don't have to reach up there. So for the tall people, for the short people, you can run it all right there. So it just sits in this little holder there. A Dometic foot flush toilet. Just a real simple bathroom, but it, it just gets the job done. It really is a nice bathroom. Up at the, at the nose of the, the toy hauler. But again, nothing you can, no wood in this coach. Um, you do have a really nice wardrobe here. This is a big wardrobe cabinet. This is a two thermostat unit. This is one of them. The other one's behind the bed over there. Uh, got the AC blowing. It's nice and cool in here. Uh, a TV on here. I don't think it's ever been used. This is a little Wi-Fi router. Um, some, you know, your cable. A nice little 12 volt power supply if you need to. If you wanted to hook up a nice uh, PlayStation or something, you can do it there as well. Um, you do have your gas fuel stage right here. This is tells you how much of that 36 gallons you have out there. That generator runs off that gas, so this would be your start. Um, you can. This is a shut off for the whole thing. If I turn this off, the whole coach is going to go dead. Um, this is an, aux an auxiliary tank meter. The the generator only has 113 hours on it total, so that's. A real young generator. You got plenty of life left on that guy. Uh, of course, your light switches, um, your awning extend. You got some floodlights out there that I have. Now, if you get a look at the back, I'll, I'll do this right when I'm up here. You got this really nice, like, king bed up there, and you can see it just coming down on an elevator. Those couches on the side, and I'll show you in a minute, they make beds as well. This will make a bed right here, this dinette. I'm just gonna get this out of the way because this is just an impressive toy hauler. It really, really is. This is the kind of toy hauler you'd buy one of. You know, this is just built to last as long as you need it. A lot of the other stuff, the fiberglass sides and stuff, they delaminate over time and stuff like that. You're not gonna have any of those problems with an ATC. Um, you do have your other, t this is your main tank panel. You've got your lights, your water pump, a water heater. Um, your DSI fall, they'll tell you if one of your um, breakers is off. Um, this is your water line heater, fresh tank heater, gray tank heater, and black tank heater. It is a three season coach. We already talked about that. This is another fan remote for the fan right above the kitchen here. You got a nice little eight cube fridge. So it's a couple cube bigger than most that you'll see in the other trailers. They have usually have sixes in them. This is a nice eight cube, but it is a, a gas and electric one as well. We've got your breaker panel. So we talk about these a lot. Um, this is a really nice place for them too, because you just can't, you know, sometimes you gotta look for them. This one's right, right when you walk in the door. So this is your 110. If one of these breakers were to be flipped, you just pop it back on like your house. These have a little light bar up here where I, one of these fuses is dead. It'll tell you which one it is so you're not pulling all your fuses out. 
Got a little bit of storage in it up in there. Coming back to the galley. Nice little compact galley, I like it. It's uh, again, solid surface countertops. Nice under mount big farm sink. You do have a nice big faucet with a sprayer. Uh, all your windows are gonna have these roll down privacy blinds. They're all in really good shape, I've checked them all. Nice little stereo that'll run the speakers inside and out. I love the way these uh, hinges just go straight out. Got nice little shocks. Here's all the paperwork on the coach. A lot going on with this guy. It's got the best of the best in it. A little more storage up here. Got a simple two burner stove. I don't think it's ever been used. A nice little microwave back here, and it is a convection, so this this will actually bake stuff. It's a pretty good size, nothing too crazy. You got a lot of pan storage. Well, these are a little bit shallower, but nice drawers. Everything's aluminum, as you can see. And there's your, this is your, uh, your monitors, because you do have a backup camera on this, so when you're in your tow vehicle, you can put this in the front, and it'll uh, show you what's going on behind you. Oh. You also have another little tank here, so you've got two or three little places to check your tank levels. It's kind of nice when you're kind of doing dishes to make sure your gray's not getting full. It's kind of what that's all about. We also have this really nice dinette. This will, this, these will fold over and connect, and you have these little legs here. This will make a single bed, and this just pops up to the ceiling, and you strap it to this little guy right here. It's just a really nice set system. So you can literally get everything out of the way up to, you can't move this kitchen, but everything else gets out of the way. It's a really neat system. Nice solid surface table as well, nice and heavy. And we'll go through some more storage here. All these just kind of stay up and out of the way when you're loading and unloading. It's a beautiful thing. So this is kind of in the stowed away position. It just kind of straps up here with two straps. I got this down for a couch. If you're gonna get ready to go ride and you need to put your boots on or something, you can have plenty of places to sit around here. But if you wanted to make it a bed, you just roll these around, you pop these little legs out, and now you got a sleeper and you can do that on both sides. It's just it's so much utility, it's not even. We'll just leave it as a couch here. This is an interesting feature and it took me a while to figure out what it was. This is a tire rack. So you can light all your tires on your, you know, if you have different wheels for your razors or what have you, you just stack them up here and they're just up and out of the way and you can still store whatever you need to in here. When you're not using it, it just sticks right up there. I guess the guy could also put a nice little stop here and make it a shelf if you wanted, but I think that's mainly for tires and wheels. that. You notice on the ceiling, you've got, these are all ducted ACs. You have one AC here, one AC there. So you have plenty of AC in this big compartment. You're going to stay, you, know, you got the sand, sand dunes or what have you. It's going to be no problem. Another thing you'll notice as you're looking around, a lot of USB ports, a lot of GFCIs, plugs everywhere. There's plugs at the back, plugs in the front. You do have a, a little carbon monoxide detector up here in the corner. You also have these cool little touch lights. They just, you just touch them and they come on. Oh, that one's the faulty one. Get that looked at. Probably just needs a new bulb. 
But this is the other, this is that other guy where you'd have it that way. So the air comes in and comes out here. So that's kind of how that whole system works. Um, if you notice on the floor, you have these D-tracks. Uh, this is kind of a cargo strap down system. Uh, they have all kinds of different ways to, to utilize this guy. Um, whatever you can pretty much dream of. It, it started in the airplanes. This is the same, you know, cargo management system they put in the airplanes, in the cargo planes. So big giant aluminum floor. You got a loading light up here. It's on. You can turn on and off. So this garage, it's got 15 foot, let's see here, 15 foot, 10 inch garage. So you can put your, uh, your four seat razors in here. I mean, this is made to haul the toys, the bikes, the, the G, like I said, that door will, su will support a two door Wrangler. So just to talk about some of the, the specs on this guy again, you're, uh, you got a hundred gallon of fresh water underneath here. So you can carry a hundred gallons of water, 45 gallon tank, 45 gallon black tank. Again, your GVWR is 11, 440. Um, the dry weight of this trailer as it sits is uh, 7,300 pounds. Um, it'll hold 40, 4140, which again, that door will support all 4,000 of that, 4140. Um, 15,000 BTU ACs up top, 25,000 BTU furnace, um, six gallon water heater. It's riveted inside and out, all the panels, all the construction. Um, you've got a 36 gallon fuel station. You've got a one piece aluminum roof, so you don't have the TPOs. It's just, it's, it's metal, it's not going anywhere. Um, your height on this coach or this trailer is 11 foot, um, eight six wide, 33 foot long, and the interior height at right here is seven six. Um, your insulation on this guy is pretty interesting. You've got R3 insula insulation on the walls and R11 on the roof. This is made with four inch struts going across this whole thing and aluminum struts. They, they just overbuilt this thing to the pieces. Um, the stock number on this guy is 4U220914. Um, it's a 2019 ATC toy hauler. It's an M8528 if you want to look up the specs on it. Um, my name is Dean Jones. If you want to talk about this trailer, um, just give me a call, 720-347-7063, or you can email me at dean.jones at transwest.com. It's been fun showing you this trailer, and we hope to hear from you. Also, check out the links below the video, and that'll get it to the, our website on this, on this very unit. So we'll look forward to seeing you next time, and uh, thanks for going through this with me.